YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to be checking out the Arctic Air Ultra. Will it help inside your car? So I've done a lot of video reviews of this device, the Arctic Air Ultra. Um, I'll leave links in the description to all those videos. I've compared it to the old model. I've tested it in an RV. I've tested it with tap water versus ice water. How well does this unit work? Today we're going to try it in a car. Will it replace your AC? I know a lot of you have mentioned in the comments wanting to know will this work in a car because your AC is broken. Mine's broken too. I have no AC in here. It is hot. Currently right now it is 89 degrees in here. 53% humidity. That's Fahrenheit. Celsius, what are we at? 31.8 degrees Celsius. It is warm. I'm sweating. It's hot in here. I don't have AC, so if I turned it on, it'd just be blowing hot air on me. So the question is, will this device plugged into your car, will it do anything? And how well will it hold up driving around with it? So let's test it out. So I am going to basically set it on my drink holder next to me and just put it down there so it can sit on the drink holder. And as you can see, the plug has a USB on it. So we'll plug that into the back of it and plug the other into my radio's USB port. Now I can tell you that unless it's sitting perfectly flat, it'll shut off. So if you try to turn it on, it's not working. It may be because whatever you have it set on could be slanted. So I have water with me. Don't forget water. Now, obviously this isn't ice water, it's cold water. Um, I don't have the, the filter frozen or anything. Cause again, you're in the car, you're probably gonna leave this device in your car. You're just gonna bring some water out and fill it up. Now, obviously if you had a cooler with you and you froze a filter and you kept an extra one in the cooler and kept switching them out, you'd get better results, but most of us aren't going to do that. You're just looking for the easiest thing. You don't have AC. Will this work? So we're going to fill it up with water. And I can tell you right now, the temperature is going up. It's 90 degrees in here now. Fahrenheit, 32.8 Celsius. It's uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. So let's see how it works or how it feels with this on. Whew. Slant those the little vents on the front so it's facing on me. Immediately better. Oh, much better. It's not like ice cold. And I am going to put this right in front of it so you can see what the temperature is coming out of it. Because I can tell you just by feeling it, I don't think it's going to do it feels better obviously because it's some it's a little bit of cooler air blowing on me so it feels better than not having it on at all but i can tell that if there was somebody else or other people in the back of the car this isn't going to cool your whole car down it's going to cool you down right in front of it and not by a lot i mean i'm still sweating and i'll hold this thermometer here in front of it for a little bit so we can see what the temperature of that air coming out of it is but if you're watching this video it's probably because you don't have AC and you're just in your car and you're trying to find some sort of option to cool you down, this will help. It's not going to replace AC. You're not going to be super comfortable. And again, if you're looking to think this device is going to cool your entire family down in the car, it's not going to happen. So it's been maybe about a minute. It's still reading 92.8. And that's holding this directly in front of the Arctic air. Like I say, I can feel it. It's it's cooler air coming out, but it's not ice cold air. It's not like if you had your hand in front of an air conditioning vent, it's not that cold. Now, the big question is, even though this is helping a little bit, it's better than nothing, how well will this work driving around? 92.7, so I'm gonna leave this right here on the chair right next to it. It's basically it's blowing on it as I talk to you. And we'll, we'll take a look at it at the end and see if the temperature has changed on a little bit. Again, 
This is better than nothing. It's not great. I'm still hot. I'm still sweating. It's still really warm in here. But I did test it out driving it. Now, you're going to want to somehow... You know, mine's on the drink holder here. And I probably didn't have to strap it down. But I did take like a exercise band, like stretchy band. And I wrapped it around there. That's all I had available just to hold it there. So you could find some sort of strap, or if you think it's stable enough that you may not even need a strap, depends what you're setting it on. And as I drove, and I will show you clips of me going, a little bit of water did, just going down the road, it, it was fine. Now you're gonna see some water around the edges and stuff. That's because um, it came unplugged and I had to move it and some water came out that way. But as far as just driving wise, it held up pretty good. It didn't spill a lot. It was mainly going around the corners. If you went around the corner fast enough, all the water would slosh to one side or the other of the compartment and start to come out a little bit. Um, I did notice going downhill once it shut off. Like again, if it's if this if it's flat, it'll stay running. If it just slants a little bit, it's going to shut off. So I think it shifted on the drink holder that I have it setting on. Um, and it shut off. So if it shuts off, it's probably because it's slanting a little bit. You just have to readjust it. So for the most part, driving with it, it didn't spill a ton. There was some water coming out. So obviously you don't want anything underneath it that could get ruined by water. Maybe just set a towel there or something. Again, this isn't bad. It's not great. It doesn't replace AC, but it helps a little. And again, this is only going to be good is if... It's super hot out. Even putting your windows down doesn't do any. That's just super hot air coming in. This will help a little bit, but it's, I think, it, like myself, I'm going to have to spend the money to get my AC replaced because if I have a passenger, they're not getting helped out by this whatsoever. 91.9 um, now Fahrenheit, 33.2 Celsius. So it's going down really, it's going down. But it's going down really slow and that's the thing it's a little cooler than the actual air in here so it is helping a little it's making it more comfortable let me shut it off yeah as soon as i shut it off without the air on me who it just getting stuffy so it helps i mean if you have no other option this will work depending on the price you find it online 30 to 50 dollars but no going into it what it's for it's going to help you a little bit it's not going to replace your ac it's not going to completely cool your car down if somebody was sitting over there they're probably not even going to feel it they're not even going to notice any difference so it's going to help you out if you have long drives or something it can help and again if i had a cooler to where i could keep the up the water really cold and maybe have an extra filter and keep that frozen and keep switching those out i think i would get some more the, the temperatures would go down some too plus depending on your humidity. I'm at 50% humidity. If you're at a place that has lower humidity than that, it's gonna work even better. So all those factors go into the final results. It's helping. You know, I feel a little better with it on than if I have it off. So there you go. If you have any other questions about this, hit me up in those comments below. If you got value out of this, please smash that thumbs up button. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.